Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. KB5003637, that's this month's Patch Tuesday cumulative update, is now rolling out for Windows 10 versions 21H1, 20H2 and 2004. And it started rolling out yesterday on the 8th of June 2021. Now KB5003637 is mainly an important security update for the Windows 10 operating system and it addresses numerous and critical security vulnerabilities in Windows 10 and apparently it fixes seven zero-day exploits and six of those have been exploited in the wild already. So that's quite concerning if six zero-day exploits are currently active. That means you need to, you know, obviously apply this patch as soon as you can because you could leave your operating system vulnerable to attack. And as I mentioned in my previous video, it fixes a total of 50 security flaws altogether by applying this latest update and now five have been classified as critical as well. Now the six zero-day exploits which are currently active are the Windows Kernel Information Disclosure Vulnerability, Windows NTFS Elevation of Privilege Vulnerability, Microsoft DWM Core Library Elevation of Privilege Vulnerability, Windows MSHTML Platform Remote Code Execution Vulnerability, and the Microsoft Enhanced Cryptographic Provider Elevation of Privilege Vulnerability, and there's two of those. Now, if you would like to have a more in-depth uh, look at what the security uh, flaws that were fixed are, you can just head over to the security update guide from Microsoft. And yeah, we can see the 8th of June, 8th of June, 8th of June. And as I say, there are plenty that have been addressed by this latest cumulative update. And I will leave a link in the description box below to the security update guide um, if you're interested, where you can go check that out for yourself at a later stage. Now, the, this update also includes the, the majority of the non-security updates that were rolled out in the last optional preview build update, which rolled out near the end of May last month. So if you skipped that optional update, you can also get the majority of those fixes by downloading this update, KB5003637. And now, if you are on Windows 10 version 21H1, your OS build will now be 19043.1052. If you're on 20H2, that'll be 19042. And if you're on 2004, that'll be 19041. And as always, if you'd like to see if you have the update, you just head over to your settings, update and security. And because the Patch Tuesday updates are um, compulsory automatic updates, it will be installed and downloaded and installed automatically onto your machine. And then just to check if you have the update, you just go to view update history. And yeah, we have it. Cumulative update for Windows 10 version 21H1, KB5003637. And then for whatever reason, it is, you know, you, you are, un are unable to install it through the um, Windows update on Windows 10. You can always just head over to the Microsoft update catalog. You just type in 5003637 and then you just um, look for your version of Windows 10 and then you just click the download link on the right and then that should um, um, uh, download and install onto your system with no problems. Now, as I mentioned, it carries a lot of um, the fixes that were addressed in the optional preview build update from last month. And one of those is if you didn't apply that update, it fixes the issues caused by the news and interests feed. So if you were having any issues with your taskbar um, and the news and interests feed, this um, latest update will address those issues for you. And also another um, uh, optional update from last month, if you didn't apply that update, is that um, it addresses an issue that might prevent you from opening apps pinned to your taskbar if you are using the Microsoft Your Phone app. So this, this also addresses that issue. And then another one is um, uh, this update has fixed a memory leak that was caused by ctfmon.exe. And if you don't know what that is, it's a process used by Microsoft Office and other and some other apps. And basically this uh, bug fix will help with the high memory usage bug that was uh, causing the memory leak issue in ctfmon. So that's basically what is... Um, new in this uh, KB5003637. There are no new features or anything like that. And as I mentioned, it is mainly a 
critical security update for the Windows 10 operating system, which fixes, you know, the numerous security issues. And as I say, I will leave the link to the um, issues that were addressed in the description box below. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.